After standing alongside the president for his rally in Florida, the vice president headed here to Indiana. He's hosting a fundraiser tonight in downtown Indianapolis. So security has been tight around the JW Marriott Hotel, and that's where Eyewitness News reporter Anna Carrera is right now. Anna? Yeah, John, we've been out here for a good part of the afternoon, and it's been, as you can see, pretty quiet around here. Uh, we have seen some police cars kind of coming and going. There's a definite presence here. The Secret Service is here. We talked with them, and uh, IMPD and state police are adding their support as well. Workers at the JW Marriott have been very tight-lipped about what's going on there inside, but we do know the doors were set to open at 445 for a fundraising event. Uh, it was set to start at 5 o'clock tonight. It's a very busy weekend this part of downtown. Just across the street, there's an insurance convention going on. We talked to people there. They say they have events planned at the convention center until 11 tonight. That adds about 45,000 extra people to this area who are coming from across the country, even Canada. On top of that, of course, it's Friday night in downtown Indianapolis, which brings its own kind of hectic traffic tie-ups to go along with it. And for this fundraiser, um, the vice president started his Great American Committee last month, supporting people who support White House policies. It costs to get in, though, between $1,000 and $5,000 per person tonight. And the VP isn't expected to leave after this event. We have been told he's going to be in town tomorrow for a family-type event. John and Ann.